with an FC TV with Aaron Racine following tonight's defeat at Farnborough. Aaron, how do you sum that one up? Yeah, I thought played really well, especially the first half. Um, and that went down to 10 men and still played well. I think dominated both halves in terms of chances, um, controlling the game. Um, just a bit unfortunate in both boxes, obviously the goal we conceded and then you know, missed a couple of good chances uh, in their box. It's another night where you've dominated the game but, but come away with maybe the result that you haven't warranted in terms of the performance maybe? Yeah, I think so. But I look at the performance and I think, you know, we discussed it with the group, we think it was one of our better performances this year. So I think we as a team need to start, sort of focus on just the process and the process on getting better and better and better um, and seeing where that takes us. Because I think from the beginning of the season up until now, I think there's been um, slow and small increments in terms of performances. So I think we just keep sticking to the process and um, week in, week out, focus on being better uh, for ourselves. Obviously, it was going into the second half, it was always going to be a tough challenge coming from behind, but it was made a lot more difficult with Joe Cook receiving a second yellow. What were your thoughts on that and, and even the, the first yellow card for him? Um, I thought the first yellow was soft, to be fair, and then the second yellow, it's a bit of a tough one, really. What I, look, what I saw was Joe Cook, who's six foot three, going up against someone who's probably five foot three. Trying to body him off the pitch and supposedly catches him in the face. So I don't know how you defend that situation. Um, I asked a fourth, he didn't have an answer. Um, but I was ever under the pitch, so I can't really give an accurate um, answer to that. There were still plenty of positives today. Um, I think if, if Mo Fall had a, had a golden opportunity and if you score that, who knows what could have happened, I think. In terms of reflecting on it and going going again on Saturday, there's there's plenty of positives and a lot of learnings to take. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think um, if we can, it's obviously emotional time after a game, and especially when you lose. So I think once we can get past that and start reflecting back on the performance, I think um, it'll help us in terms of our confidence um, into Saturday's game. And in terms of Saturday, tasks aren't getting much easier. I think Western have slipped to second after defeat tonight, but obviously a side in, in good form and, and there'll be different tough customers at, at Woodside on Saturday. Yeah, I think so. I think um, they've shown that with our first game. Um, you know, scoring three goals against us at their place, they've obviously got something about them. Um, and their league position as well, obviously proved that they're a good team. So, obviously not... Um, not taking anything for granted at the weekend, being at home, it's always going to be a tough game, but I think it's all about just focusing on us and our performances and you know, hopefully that will put us in good stead to get a good, a good uh, result.